I am always so happy that I cleaned the kitchen the night before. It's like so much nicer to come in here when it's clean and the coffee is already brewed. Thank heavens. <laughs> I got this mug at World Market and I thought it was so cute with the retro font and the pink and the red, of course. And it also has kind of a unique shape. So we all know I am a mug connoisseur, <laughs> but I think that's the one for today. I love coming in here to this cozy view in the morning first thing. And I don't know if this is genius or so lazy I shouldn't be admitting it on camera, <laughs> but I like to have two cups of coffee while I do my journaling, so I bring my one cup, but um, like getting up to get another cup kind of throws off my morning mojo sometimes. <laughs> so I'm in the middle of journaling, I like forget what I was thinking about or something. So I bring my second cup of coffee in with me in a thermos. A super cute pink thermos from Target and it keeps it really hot. And when I'm ready for my second cup, I just refill my first one. <laughs> and here hiding behind the couch is my quiet time basket. Everything I might possibly want to read, journal in. I put my planner in it the night before so I can have it here ready to start planning my day. This was a gift from a super sweet friend, but I know everybody's going to ask and I think you can get these at the Disney store, like in the mall, or I'm sure online. But look how beautiful this journal is. It's exactly like the opening frames of the movie Cinderella when the storybook opens. I had lotion on my hands one day and I kind of <laughs> messed it up a little bit, but you know, beautiful things are meant to be used. Oops, I don't want you to read my journal. <laughs> Isn't it pretty though? So I journaled in here. This is just my main journal where I like to write kind of just whatever's on my mind and just clear my mind by putting it all on paper. Then I journaled in here. This is my five year journal where I write like the actual facts of what happens each day. So it's interesting to compare over the years like what happened on this day. And now I'm going to move on to a little meditation before my quiet time is over. And I use the Calm app. I love this app. It's also really helpful if you can't sleep. So I'm trying to figure out which meditation. I usually just do the one, the daily one for the day. So I'll probably do that. Today we'll be exploring how to resist distractions. Start by getting comfortable. Start by turning off your camera you <laughs> and meditating. The next 10 minutes. I'm in such a zen state of mind right now. I love having my morning quiet time. It's so worth it to get up earlier than you have to if you can possibly swing a little time to yourself. So now I need to start the day. I need to take my dog for a walk. I need to take myself for a run <laughs> and then get this day moving. By the way, if you guys want kind of like a cheat sheet to follow along with me today, I shared in my latest planner video this printable of my daily and weekly routines. So you can kind of follow along through the day if you want to see a rough outline of my routine as I go through it today. Right, now it's time for some breakfast. Super hungry by this point. And this is one of my favorites from Trader Joe's. They're frozen blintzes. I love like back in the days of going to restaurants for breakfast. I love ordering blintzes or crepes. So these are actually really good for frozen. Um, there's the nutrition information. They're obviously like a bit of a treat as far as healthy breakfast food goes, but they're super easy to whip up. So this will be our meal this morning. Breakfast is served. I love making a really pretty breakfast tablescape too because um, it only takes like two more seconds. So we have our 
blintzes, some scrambled eggs. I have peach and Greek yogurt. Nate has some turkey bacon over there. I've been putting out a little pitcher of cold water. It's like, it feels so fancy to have a pitcher on the table. And like I said, it's zero effort. So that's just kind of a nice touch you can do in the mornings or at any meal. And bon appetit. Normally I like to get ready for the day before breakfast, but I'm actually going to film a separate get ready with me video right now. So I'm going to have breakfast and then take my time filming that video. So make sure you watch that. I don't know which one I'll post first, but I thought they could go hand in hand. So let's take care of the skincare, hair and makeup and get ready for the day. Ta-da! <laughs> We talked a lot about fragrance because it's so important to feeling lovely, to loveliness, let's say. <laughs> so now that I have a look on, this is like a, a bit more than I would do on a daily basis, but let's be real, not that much more because I just love to play with makeup and especially in this year of lockdown, I have felt like it's a huge boost whenever I pass a mirror or wash my hands 800 times a day to look up and be like, oh, I do care about myself, like I, I put a little effort in. So whatever that is for you, I'm totally not saying that has to be makeup for everybody. I know that it doesn't bring everyone joy, but whatever does give you a little cue for joy throughout your day is so important. So I'm glad that I took that little extra time to feel festive. So now I'm gonna get on with my morning productivity block. I'm like a little behind schedule because I've been filming, but not too bad. Um, so let's get a few hours of, a couple hours of stuff done and then see where the day takes us. So I'm coming to my little desk nook. If you guys have been keeping up with my home office chronicles, <laughs> um, this is where I do a lot of my work when Nate needs the home office since we're both working from home more or less these days. And I love my little desk nook. Like it's so cozy. It kind of reminds me of college. <laughs> it's so cute. And if you saw on Instagram, I just recently covered it with this marble counter contact paper and it just makes me happy. So anyway, <laughs> I'm settling in here. I'm at the productivity block one part of my day and gonna try to power through some emails and to-do lists and honestly it's not very photogenic to film or <laughs> productive for me to film. So I'm just gonna get some work done first. So I'm going to shift gears and make some lunch now. And this is another favorite freezer hack from Trader Joe's. Um, their frozen quinoa always turns out perfect for me. Whereas when I make it myself from scratch, um, sometimes it gets mushy. So this is so convenient. It's just this little freezer pack and fluffs right up. So these are the ingredients for the best quinoa salad of life. I just opened up this pouch of quinoa to let it cool slightly and then we add tomatoes, cucumber, avocado, feta cheese, and arugula. And I got this recipe from my friend Annette. She's like famous on this channel for her wonderful recommendations and I'm here to tell you it's not just skincare and makeup because this salad has been so yummy. And it's really perfect, um, especially like to eat outside. It feels so fresh. So I'm gonna pack up a little picnic and take this to go. Also a quick other tip, when I'm chopping up tomatoes, I like to put them on a paper towel to drain. And I also salt them, salt them pretty generously so it helps kind of sweat out some of the tomato juices. So you don't get as much of the like goopy inside parts and you just get the tomato deliciousness. So I'm just gonna get a shot of this here because I feel like once I transport it to the park, it's not gonna be this pretty. But I have the bed of arugula at the bottom, a little mound of quinoa, and the toppings are on the sides. I like to squeeze some fresh lemon on this and then also have balsamic and olive oil for a dressing. And I don't have any specific ratios that I follow for this. I don't know if there originally is, but just kind of eyeball it. It's so good together and we are also having feta with dinner, so I didn't put much in there because it's going to be like a very feta day. But this salad is so good with the feta because it like really adds that savoriness. So this will be perfect to pack and take to the park. Going on picnics has just been our absolute favorite thing to do lately. It's the only way to get some sunshine and fresh air if you don't have a yard of your own. And it's just, it's so lovely. Picnic pro tip setups. 
Number one, we have the leash that ties onto a tree, makes it so easy to have your little buddy with you. Number two, always bring a book. Number three, pretty blankets make it more fun. <laughs> And then I have our food. I brought my favorite kombucha for a beverage. This is perhaps the most extra thing, but I always bring roses or flowers from home. I think it's nice for them to get a little sunshine and it really adds to the picnic ambiance. Best salad of life. My boys. Nothing makes me happier than picnicking with these two. So look what Nate picked up. <laughs> How cute are these? Valentine donuts from Krispy Kreme. I think he said that is strawberry, oops, sugar cookie, cake batter, and caramel. And I'm not a huge donut person, but who could resist this cuteness? This one's my favorite, that is so beautiful. I think I need to like take a picture of it before I let him eat his donuts. Okay, it's time for some afternoon chores. I'm gonna throw this load of laundry in. I don't know if I've ever mentioned, but I love the Trader Joe's laundry detergent. It smells like lavender and it's really nice. Are you ready for like the cutest hack of life? I folded the toilet paper into a triangle. I have this, this is a wax seal stamp. Any stamp should work. I'm just gonna get it wet, just barely. And then stamp the toilet paper. And now you can see a faint rose on my toilet paper. <laughs> Usually it kind of seals it down too. I think I didn't get the seal wet enough. But anyway, this is clearly Purely just for my own amusement, but isn't that fun? These flowers that I have around my house right now, I'm so enamored with. You guys know my trick is to go to Trader Joe's, get like two super cheap bouquets. I think the roses were $4 for each, and then the baby's breath was like $2. It was definitely less than $10, I can't remember, but I have roses all over my house now. And these are just so romantic and whimsical. I like to put some by my bed. Also by my vanity, in the bathrooms, in the living room, in the kitchen, just at my desk. <laughs> I think everywhere can be improved by fresh flowers. And then especially when they're that affordable, you know, just split them into a bunch of different bouquets and lighten up every single room in your house. Just sitting back down at my desk to check off my to-do list, so satisfying. And then as you know, if you saw the video where I shared this. This is also like as I go through the day, I just check off my routine. And once I finish some desk work, it will be time to watch the sunset. I am really ready for that. So let me just wrap things up here. I feel like my hair has definitely gotten crazier through the course of the day today. Oh well. <laughs> so going to have a glass of wine on the balcony. It's like 5.30 and I've taken 16,000 steps. <laughs> and so I'm kind of tuckered out, <laughs> but I feel happy about how much we got done today. And it's been a lovely day and nothing sounds lovelier than sitting on the balcony with you and my hubby, hopefully, if he can finish work as well right now, and a glass of wine and the sunset. Well, sunset, it's not a dud, but it's not a very colorful night. But it's still so pleasant to sit outside and enjoy the last little bit of the day. This is such a ritual for me, as you know. So, cheers. <laughs> Good luck. Is that what you wanted? Nope. Ah, nice, full house. Okay, it is dinner. Time. I'm actually really not hungry. That picnic held me over so well. That quinoa salad is really filling. 
But I'm going to cook something up and just have a smaller portion since I'm not starving. And we're going to make the viral feta pasta. The pasta that went viral. I guess it was originally on TikTok. I am not on TikTok. I have zero desire to have another social media outlet in my life. I'd like to have less. <laughs> so I'm not on TikTok, but I of course heard the hype about this pasta that everybody was buzzing about and feta was like sold out in our stores <laughs> as a result. And um, I can't lie, it piqued my curiosity. All right, this is going in the oven to roast. We have cherry tomatoes, oil, garlic, salt, pepper, oregano, some lemon zest, and a big old block of feta cheese. So I'm very curious to see how this comes together. And here we have the roasted tomatoes. They got a little burny, but we enjoy burniness. And this feta is supposed to like, oh yeah, turn into the sauce. I am so intrigued by this. And dinner is served. Okay, I haven't tried this yet, but this has got to be one of the easiest dishes in that it created no dishes. <laughs> it's basically like a one or two pot meal and it looks really good. So I'm very excited to try this. And since we're not super hungry, I figure we'll just have a small bowl of pasta. I didn't make sides or anything. I did make some like garlic bread out of homemade sliced bread. But this is dinner. It looks so good. Did this just turn to like scary horror film lighting? <laughs> it's actually soothing lighting. It just looks a little scary on camera. We'll do a whole separate video on this. But for now, let me just say the most important thing to a relaxing bath night, and if you don't have a bathtub, it can also be a shower, is lighting. Like no one has ever relaxed in fluorescent lighting ever. <laughs> so we are all about the calming lighting. I have this Scentsy candle warmer. I love it. It's a perfect night light and a really nice ambient lighting. And then it's all about the candles, all about the candles. <laughs> Candlelight will take you so far in a relaxing bath night. And then the next important thing is bubble bath. I'm going to use that one by Lalia. I love, love their bu bubble baths. All right, here's where we're at. Super cozy bubble bath has been unlocked <laughs> and I'm going to add a couple more things for ambiance. Um, lately, whenever I have a bouquet of roses, which I think we all know is all the time, <laughs> right before the roses die, I'll take the petals off and put them on like a pan outside to dry. So as a result, I have a nice supply of dried rose petals. And I can sprinkle them in my bath. It just adds that certain something. And then I don't always use a bath bomb, but I wanted to use one tonight to have a special bath. And isn't this the cutest thing ever? It looks like a little waffle. And it smells so good. And like this little leaf is a soap bar. So I just thought this was really, really special. This was a gift. And I think tonight is the night to use it. it smells so good. There's just nothing like a bath bomb. <laughs> Look what I found. I found a little tiny DC hiding under the bath. It's so cute when he thinks he's hiding, but like, that much of him is sticking out. Do you see you want to say hi? They worry about you when you're not in the video. Come here. He's doing good. He's the sweetest doggy. He has gotten just sweeter and sweeter and sweeter with old age. Look at all this gray hair. Are you a good boy? Do you see? Say hi. Say hi to the people. He's so sweet. Love you, buddy. You're a good boy. Love you. <laughs> I can't be the only person who lights a candle <laughs> and then carries it from room to room like it's the 1800s. 
<laughs> because it smells so good. This is like the most special candle of life, the Jo Malone almond scent, or technically this is the macaroon scent. So it's coming into the living room for cozy times. Okay, ultimate coziness has been unlocked. Nate is over there writing. I'm gonna let him have his privacy. <laughs> He's working on his laptop. And we have our cozy Valentine scene. I'm going to do some of my favorite hobby, which is embroidery. I'm just working on this cute little dish towel that has cupcakes. I thought that was kind of Valentine-y. So how like relaxing and soothing is this? I have a cup of tea. This is one of my favorite teas. It's chamomile, honey, and vanilla. I'm gonna have a couple of Andes, like my favorite after dinner mint. I've got my ice water and my beautiful goblet going still. And yeah, this is like ideal evening. I'm gonna be real with you, lockdown or no? <laughs> so cozy. It's time to wind down, and so I'm going to finally tackle the kitchen. I kind of put that off, but I really want to make a point to wake up to a nice, clean kitchen with the coffee all set and brewing for me in the morning to set myself up for another good day. So let's just do a quick tap to clean. Ta-da! So worth it. I know it's hard when you're so tired at the end of the day, but it's so worth it to take a little time to clean. DC is having a late night snack before bed. He's so cute. Um, and the dishwasher is set to run in the middle of the night. I dried and put away all the dishes. Coffee is set to brew in the morning. I have this pitcher of lemon water to put in the fridge to have with breakfast. <laughs> so basically I set myself up for a good day. And I have all my skincare on and I'm so sleepy. <laughs> Um, but I just want to say thank you for spending the day with me. That was really fun. I always love to hang out with you guys. And I also would just wish you an absolutely amazing day. And if you can do anything to set yourself up for success or to just like pamper yourself a little bit, you know how I feel about these things. <laughs> we all need it, especially right now. So take good care of yourselves and hit subscribe if you want to. And I'll see you in my next video. And I love you. Good night.